Page 29. 2. Listening and Speaking. Favorite Proverbs. C. Match each proverb above with a similar English proverb below. Write the numbers. Then listen again as someone comments on each proverb and check your answers. 1. I think I've been driving my family crazy lately. Ever since I was given that big promotion at work, I have all these new problems to deal with. And every night I come home totally worried and start complaining to everyone. And my grandmother always says to me, if you're afraid of the wolves, don't go into the woods. Like, I chose to accept this promotion, so I have to accept all the problems that come with it. So that's become one of my favorite proverbs. I think it's partly because my grandmother is from Russia, and it says something about her culture. You know, she grew up near a forest, where there was a lot of danger. It sounds like your grandmother wants you to be a little tougher. There's a similar saying in English, but it's about the kitchen. You often hear, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. That's what people say at the office whenever anybody complains about all the pressure. But I totally understand what you're going through. Just remember that the first couple of months are the hardest. 2. My favorite proverb in Portuguese is, hard bread is better than nothing. I like it because it reminds me that when times are bad, you have to be grateful for the little that you have. And I thought of this proverb the other day when I was talking to a friend of mine. She's living with her parents while she looks for a job, and she isn't paying rent or anything because she's not earning any money. And she started complaining to me that she doesn't like the food her parents cook. Can you believe it? That's so incredible. I mean, she should be grateful she has a place to live. In English, we often say, beggars can't be choosers. You know, it means that you shouldn't make demands when other people are being generous with you. It's not exactly the same, but it's similar, I think. Anyway, I hope your friend finds a job soon, if only for her parents' sake. 3. My father is always quoting proverbs to me in Chinese. And my favorite one is, You can't expect both ends of a sugar cane to be sweet. He used it recently when I was complaining about my new apartment. You know, I'm glad I moved into the city, but I've really been bothered by all the noise. So I was telling my father this, and he responded with the proverb about the sugar cane. It means that you can't have the advantages of something without the disadvantages. It always makes me stop and think a bit. That sounds a lot like a proverb we have in English. People say, you can't have your cake and eat it too. It means about the same thing, I think. If you want one thing, you might have to give up something else. Like, if you want to live in the middle of the city, you'll probably have to put up with a lot of noise. But anyway, I'm sure you'll get used to all the noise after a while. 4. You know, things haven't been so great lately. I feel like I've been hit with a whole bunch of problems all at once. But I have a favorite proverb that always makes me feel better. It's, every Tuesday has its Sunday. That's what we say in Spanish to cheer people up. You know, it means there are always going to be some bad days, but there are going to be good days too. You just have to be patient. In English, there's a proverb that's kind of like that. It's, every cloud has a silver lining. What it means literally is that some sun shines through every cloud. So it means that there's always hope even in the darkest times. People say it whenever a friend is going through a difficult time. You know, to point out that something good often comes out of a bad situation. So, I hope that'll be true for you, too.